We are given here two parametric equations, x equals 2 cosine theta and y equals 2 sine theta. We have to find the area represented by these equations. Why are these parametric equations? Because you have a third variable, a parameter, theta. Look, I have three variables, x, y, and theta. I will eliminate this variable, this parameter, theta, and convert this into a rectangular equation, which is defined only in terms of x and y. How will I do that? I'll push the 2 on the other side. I will have x over 2 is equal to cosine theta. Likewise, I have y over 2 is equal to sine theta. Now I'm thinking about a fundamental trigonometric identity. I know that to be sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. If I were to square these two items, then I must also square their substituents on the other side of that equal sign to maintain equality. I'll look at these two substituents and run them through here. If these two in their sum is equal to 1, then these two in their sum must also be equal to 1. We will have our y square over a4 plus x square over a4 is equal to 1. Push the denominator on the other side. You can say y square plus x square or x square plus y square. It doesn't matter. Order does not matter when you're adding. x square plus y square is equal to 4 and suddenly a unit circle equation comes out. It's a rectangular equation because you have variables only in terms of x and y. You know here the form x square plus y square is equal to r square is a unit circle which is centered around the origin with a given radius. I know r square is equal to 4, therefore my radius is equal to the square root of that which is 2. Area of a circle is a pi r square, I'll have a pi 2 square, and my area representation is 4 pi. That right here will be your correct answer, 4 pi.